May 25th is going to be the release date for Obi-Wan Kenobi, the TV show. It's going to be the 45th anniversary for Star Wars A New Hope, which is going to be really amazing. But everything coming out so far from the show, it's like it sounds like it's going to be an awesome show with everything leaked right now, confirmed. How can you not love what's coming on right now? We know that the theme song is going to be made by John Williams himself. I think he's also going to work on like help with the music of the show. But having him back to do the theme song for this show is really awesome. Because Star Wars is, is awesome, but the music makes it so much better. Like the iconic Duel of the Fates and everything. That's what makes Star Wars even better than what it is without it. Um, other things like that are rumored, which are, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, is Obi-Wan and Vader are going to meet again. We know that, but it's rumored they're going to face off twice during the show, which is really cool. I thought it was going to be maybe one time, but it, like it's rumored to be twice right now. But we won't be able to see Vader until the third episode. And from what I've read, the early two episodes will focus around um, the Inquisitors and the capture of a young princess Leia Organa, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're going to see her. We're going to see the Inquisitors. Um, we're going to see Bail Organa. And I think it was even hinted at that we might see the Emperor because um, in an interview, E. McDermott um, like hinted at something that that might happen, which is pretty cool and also pretty fitting for like where the story is right now. It's in between um, like episode three and four. And there's a lot of stuff going on. And I just like, even if we get the Emperor as a hologram, I would be happy though. That would be really cool. But for me, the biggest cherry on top was um, kind of a, like also a rumor slash leak um, that I saw uh, from Star Wars Mag. Qui-Gon Jinn is probably going to be in the show as well, which is really cool because we know that uh, after episode three, uh, Obi Wan still got training from Qui Gon, um, and I think it was even uh, mentioned by George Lucas himself because we know that um, previously he was only a Force voice, but that he could be a Force ghost uh, as well because I think um, that was actually one of the things they wanted to do for episode three if I'm sure, to bring Qui-Gon back as a Force ghost and not, like, only a voice and stuff like that. But, like, seeing him at all would be really amazing. Um, I would love to see him as a Force ghost, see uh, see him train Obi-Wan a little bit, but I would also really love to see him as uh, just, like, the, the not-death uh, Qui-Gon, uh, maybe in a flashback with, with Obi-Wan way back when, when he was younger and everything, before they found Anakin and, and whatsoever. I just like really, this was like really cool news to me because I really love Qui-Gon Jinn. I think he's a cool character. I remember going to the movie theaters in uh, 1999 when episode one came out. I was like really hooked. And after that, I had to get like some stuff and they like they sold merchandise and everything. One of the things I got was a lightsaber from Qui-Gon Jinn. And dude, like toys back then were way better than we have right now. Because um, like, I, I don't know where it is right now. I hope I'll find it one day. But um, like you could flick it out and there's bruising on the saber itself because I, like, I just fought with it and hit things with it like really hard never broke on me so like awesome but i just i just want to see that stuff also i would love to see some um some clone wars flashbacks with obi-wan and anakin which would be really cool i just like i can't wait for it anymore the only thing that we have to wait for right now basically is like a trailer and i hope we're not gonna get like a teaser i hope we're gonna get like a full-fledged trailer that actually shows some cool stuff not like storyline driven or anything, but like show us some stuff, show us the world, show us Kenobi. And um, yeah, let's let's just wait for the 25th of May until we can see this. I do got to say, like, I, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much because like there's always things that can happen. But I do feel kind of like a kid again, waiting for episode one, two, and three to come out in a movie theaters, just to go watch that and just be excited about Star Wars. 
But yeah, like, let me know in the comment section below if you're excited for it as well. If you like this video, like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It will be really awesome. And see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.